Do they teach magic in schools? No, not you, Harry, in real schools, like right now. Yes, they do, but not the cool kind of magic where you get a useful owl who can make people wee themselves. The kind where someone makes something up and insists you believe it just because they're bigger than you, and by the way, you have to give them money. Here's a fact in science is based on magic just like this from 1,000 years ago. There are seven colours in the rainbow. You know that, let's face it, strange thing you see after a rainstorm and it gets sunny again? It must have scared the hell out of our ancestors, that one. Am I about to get killed by some angry god, or...? So they teach that in schools, and you can pass a test saying seven, even though it's completely wrong. Well done, you are now also a big fat liar. If you look at a rainbow, it's smeared together, but there is a red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But, 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 all right, I see your orange argument, but we'll get to that. But in the meantime, can you explain the difference between indigo and violet for me? You see, when the first person looked at colours in a scientific way, they believed that all things should be in sevens, everywhere, and so slid orange in there and split purple into indigo and violet. He basically cheated. The chap and fellow big fat liar is our old friend and complete nutcase Sir Isaac Newton, who got this idea from a Greek chap called Pythagoras. It's 500 BCE and Pythagoras is obsessed with numbers because they're magic. Odd numbers were boy numbers, and even numbers were girl numbers. Yep, boys and girls. That makes sense, right? And seven was the most magic, because is the number of planets, well, there are nine if you include Pluto, which we do, but maybe we'll just let him have that, as he could only see seven. And, oh, do we have to say the other two reasons? Okay, because there are seven strings on a lyre, an old guitar thing, and the seventh of each month they celebrated the top dog of the Greek gods, Apollo's birthday. How many birthdays do you get? Well, Apollo gets one every month. He celebrates getting a year older every month because magic. So Newton, 2,000 years later, thought, you know what? That Pythagoras guy's got it spot on. So there must be seven colours in the rainbow. He knew there was five, but fudged it because he wanted seven. Feeling lied to yet? But they're not separate colours. They're smeared together. And what about orange? Why do we think there are five and not just a quadzillion of them? Well, let's chuck the magic in the bin and do some science. Now our eyes are a bit rubbish in what it can figure out as colour. It basically just takes what it needs so our cavemen ancestors didn't eat the wrong kind of berries. Your eye has these things in there called photoreceptors that pick up one small range of colours but doesn't pick up the others. We only have three of them, red, green and blue. We only actually see these three colours. But when we get one that's in between, like orange, the two photoreceptors either side pick up a bit of the light each. The brain can mix them together in, in its head and make another colour. That we then see as, say, orange. A photoreceptor is like your stomach in a bakery when you're hungry. One cake might have some spices on it, one might have an interesting blend of nuts, or one might have a dusting of chocolate on it. There might be lots of kinds, but your stomach says, cake. The person in the shop then asks you what you'd like and your mouth goes cake. That's a photoreceptor. It sees cake but filters out everything else. It won't see the fruit or the vegan gluten-free organic sugar-free oat bread. Just cake. So you could say there are three colours in the rainbow but by adding technically because the sensitivity range interpretation for these photoreceptors for said range of wavelengths etc means no one will listen to you ever again. So for your sake say five. There are three main colours and two in between. It's pretty much right. If these photoreceptors get nothing, that's no light, so dark or black. If they get lots of light in all of them, it's bright, so white. And that covers the whole quadzillion of colours that there actually are. Right in front of you is a TV or computer screen, which is made of lots of sets of three tiny little lights in the three main colours, red, green and blue. So it plays with the three photoreceptors in our eyes. The screen can then make any colour it wants. What about the cats, I hear you ask? I hear they just see in black and white, and not because they're massive racists, but because they don't have as many photoreceptors as us. They only have two, we have three. They still see colours, but reds and yellows look pretty much the same, and greens and blues look really different, and this is why a cucumber is so scary for them. To us, it just looks like this, but to a cat, racist or otherwise, they look like this. On the plus side, their TVs are way cheaper, unlike a TV for a bird, which is way more expensive. Birds, you see, have four photoreceptors, which means they see more colour than us just after where we see purple. Try to imagine a new colour. Done it? Nope. In 1947, Yves Klein, a French artist, invented a whole new colour so that we could keep up with the birds. And this is it. Sorry, let me just check that. Nope. That's right, that's blue, mate. Nice try, Yves, but not even Newton got that wrong.
In school, we remember the colours of the rainbow by Roy G. Biv, which is apparently a believable name. Mr. and Mrs. Biv must be very proud. In the UK, we use this poem, Richard of York Gave Battle in Vain, a one-line story of Richard, the third Duke of York, who wanted to be king. He got it all signed off and had a battle to celebrate, where he got his head cut off and stuck on a stick. And the hilarious winners then put a paper crown on his head as a bit of a joke. But now, because we know this guy is a big fat liar, and we know there are three photoreceptors, we can remember them as Richard gave battle. Because he did do that, well done. He didn't win, but he did have a battle.